We have tracked terror cell leaders to Al Hanad in Yemen. We believe the leaders behind the biowar attack are hiding in the city. Our Comanches are scouring Al Hanad, searching for these criminals. Bravo, we reporting enemy contact. Permission to engage. Enemy contact confirmed. Attack is a go. Roger that, command. All Comanches, engage. Engage. Target's on the move. Stinger launch. Break. Break. Bravo, wing. GLA stinger launch. Welcome back, General. Captured our pilots. The they are held in, in secret core. locations All around the city. Devise a plan to bring them home, General. Right here. All right, guys. The plan is simple. We're gonna build a lot of units, get Ger uh, Colonel Burton to do all the work, and then uh, sit back and relax. Right, right, right. Right. There's not really much to this level, unfortunately. Um, you're just kind of, if you're smart about it, you'll use Colonel Burton. Burton's essentially the hero unit for the U.S. forces, and he's arguably the best one. There's a couple reasons as to why Burton is so good. First off, uh, he actually has a decent weapon. This isn't to say anything specifically wrong about, say, Jarman Kell, but Jarman Kell has a uh, lower rate of fire, and... It, it's primarily more about distance than anything else. Colonel Burton not only is cloaked, but uh, on top of that, he also happens to have like essentially an assault rifle slash chain gun, which just makes him good. It's hard to really beat him when you're he's at max level. Colonel Burton here. I'll be there. For perfection. I'll take anything you give me. Let's go in there. Objective oh, sighted. Nature get me off, sir. Things were getting a little dicey for me. Good work. This pilot's available for combat duty. Anything you to can drive? send him back to base or you take advantage of his skills for this mission. There's no real reason to ever use the pilots. It's kind of. They exist. That's about it. Getting back to Burton, another one of the things that makes him so powerful is that he has the ability to put two different types of explosives. He can either put a timed explosive or a remote explosive. It's kind of obvious as to, you know, the usefulness of one over the other. Um, I tend to focus more on remote control just because it uh, allows for slightly different tactics. The base you get also is pretty much all built up, so you don't even really have to do anything with the construction dozer. You could build a few more Patriot missile systems, I guess, but it's not really important. Colonel Burton here. Making a house call. So at max veterancy, Colonel Burton kinda takes out technicals in two shots. And scorpions also don't tend to last that much longer. I forget if he can be run over. I don't think he can, but it's something I'd have to double check. I thought that mob was going to break into the compound, sir. Reporting for duty. Unit lost. Nice job, sir. The final pilot is located up in the hills overlooking the city. Watch out for tunnel networks. Once you complete your objective, bring the pilot back to base. We can just gloss over that last pilot, yeah? This is too easy. What do you got? No obstacles. Keeping it cool. No obstacles. Something I find never gets talked no about, obstacles. which is a little odd, um, 
when you start looking into the game. Uh, there's a reason why the pilot in the cutscene had a had that surrender movement slash motion. It's the only time you'll see it in game, and there's a very good reason as to why you don't see it anywhere else. Keeping it cool. No. You see, generals initially had more of a capture feeling to it. Getting POWs was like a semi-regular event. Now it's all cut feature, so I don't know how important it was going to be, but there was enough importance led to it to the point where just about every infantry unit in the game still has audio files um, that talk about it being captured. There's two other things that I, I think I need to point out uh, for at least the rest of this mission. First off, Colonel Burton has a really funky uh, animation whenever he's climbing towards the camera, which is kind of weird. Um, so it makes him the most versatile of all uh, the hero units. Black Lotus can't move uh, that way, neither can Charm and Kel. Um, and on top of that, the uh, US forces, or at least the faction, uh, you can tell has a lot of importance towards visibility. You start with a um, uh, sat nav, I believe it's called from the U.S. C Command Center. But you can also unlock UAVs. This actually becomes very important because UAVs are stealth. You can kind of see them fade in and out in their visibility at, at the top there. Even on the radar map, you can see them blink, uh, indicating their, their stealth. They're attacking our base. Essentially, if someone is coming to attack you and doesn't have any sort of detection whatsoever, you kind of get a freebie in seeing them and preventing whatever they're planning on doing. 